Hi guys, welcome to Benjamin Academic Party. It's our channel on YouTube and Benjamin Academics is our Facebook page where you can follow us to get more info and updates concerning us. Um, we'll be talking about the reasons why the coastal chief prefer the British and extension of Cameroon. Despite the presence of many traders along the coast of Cameroon, but the coastal chief prefer the British and extension. This point will be seen below. Number one, they prefer the British and extension because of they were satisfied with the annual duchies that they received from Britain as a result of giving up of slavery and slave trade or the abolition of slavery and slave trade. Chiefs were encouraged by missionaries and traders to demand for the British annexation. That was another reason why the Cameroon Coast Chief preferred the British annexation of Cameroon. They loved the English law and custom that was done in neighboring Calabar. That was one of the reasons why the Coast Chief preferred the British annexation of Cameroon. And another reason was that the local chief had problems with their subject and it was a threat to their authority. So they thought that if the British could come and annex the territory, this, for this reason they could be free from this problem or from this threat by some of their subjects. And another reason the local chief had good relationship with the British traders. So for this reason they preferred the British annexation of Cameroon. And lastly, they love the English names like Zoo, Prince. This was one of the reasons why they prefer the British and the Central Camp. Next, we are going to be seeing. Um, now, we are going to be seeing reasons why the British will not as well as Camp. In spite all these letters by Hamoun Kosa Chiefs, the British never had interest in the Central of Camp. This will be seen below. Number one, they had territories, they had enough territories in West Africa. That was one of the reasons why they never wanted to come to, to, to come home, to come and annex Cameroon territory. Uh, point number two, British regard Cameroon as a white man green. Why? Because of the harsh tropical climate that was found in Cameroon, the condition was favorable for the breeding of diseases, of, of transmitted diseases like mosquitoes that could breed and set flies. These were, um, these were animals that could live in Cameroon at that time. So Cameroon was seen as a white man green. That was one of the reasons why, um, why the British were reluctant to annex the territory. And we have another one. Britain trade along the coast of Cameroon before 1860 was already declining. So for that reason, the British never wanted to come and annex the Cameroon territory. That was why they were reluctant to annex. Cameroon territory. Come, the, the British believe on their treaties, their former treaties that they signed with Cameroon Coast Chief. You know, before 1860s, the British had already signed treaties like with the King of Malibia. When they signed these treaties with King of India, when they signed these treaties with the other chiefs, they were not interested. They thought that these were treaties that they had signed in the past could do. So for that reason, they were not to come and make the territory. And they had inadequate personnel that could come to the coast of Cameroon to annex the territory. Those were all the reasons that we were not And last point, we have ignorance about the territory potential. Now, Cameroon was very rich in terms of resources, but the British never had any knowledge concerning that. So for that reason, they were not to annex the Cameroon territory. Now, we'll be talking about Europeans come for Cameroon. But before we talk about that, I would like you to go back to those details behind, post, take a good look at it, and then you, you evaluate. You know, in GC some years back, we used to use that to say, like in the first well, in the first video, in the first 15 minutes or in the first 10 minutes of what we have discussed so far, um, it came around June 2015 for the contribution made by Cameron Costa Chiefs in the annexation of Cameron. And for the British to lock down to annex Cameron, it came in 2019. So go to it, look at it very well as we continue with the next. Now we are talking about European scramble for Cameron. Wow. The scramble for Cameron refers to the man watch by European powers, Britain, France, Germany. This was, um, a, this was due to economic, political, and social reasons. The, the scam ended in 12 July 1884 with the signing of the Jamaican Dollar Treaty. Now we are going to be seeing the reasons 
Why? Now, the reasons for the reasons or why? Reasons you can still be why for this coming vocabulary. Now, economic reason number one, they need a great market for the sales of European products. Now, European powers, since as a result of the industrial revolution that broke out in Europe, that work that was done by hand was now done by machine. There was excess production in Europe. So these European powers needed market where they could sell this as excess production of goods that they had been produced in Europe. So they found Camon as a place where they could. Two, they needed to create jobs for their unemployed population. These jobs, you know, as a result of the industrial revolution that put out in Europe, what that was done by hand was not done by machine. So many people were unemployed. So for that reason, European power needed to come for Cameroon in order to bring their unemployed population to the coast of Cameroon. And thirdly, we have, they also wanted to enjoy the rich nature of the territory and as report given by missionaries and traders. You know, missionaries and traders gave a good report concerning how Cameroon was better in terms of opening plantation, that they had fertile soils. So for that reason, they wanted to come and annex the Cameroon territory in order to gain this potential. And um, we have um, the need for raw materials. As a result of the industrial revolution in Europe, that work that was done by man was now done by machine. European powers wanted raw materials to proceed, to proceed them in their industries at home. So for that reason, they needed to come to the coast of Cameroon in order to extract this raw material. And the discovery of the debt owed by um, Camonian. You know, many Camonians owe them to the British, to European traders. So, for this reason, they wanted to come back to the coast of Cameroon to annex the territory and in order to collect back their debts that were owed, that was owed by the European by Cameroon traders, by Camonians to the traders. We'll be talking about the political reasons of the scandal for Cameroon. Now, the scandal for, Cam for Cameroon at that time was right in Europe. Because during this period, the more colonies you have, the more colonies you have, the more prestige you have in Europe. So that was one of the reasons why this came with for Cameroon. And the desire to create empires in Africa also made them to come with for Cameroon. Um, French activities of signing treaties with villages around the south of Cameroon, of south of Douala, also made them to also made the European powers to come for Cameroon. And we're talking about when the Germans had this reunification, she became a problem to Britain and France in Germany. So for that reason, they wanted to come home for Canada. And a country like France needed to compensate or needed compensation for his territory that he lost. He lost assets and Lorraine during the Franco-Prussian War of 1871, 1870 to 1871. For this reason, he wanted to scramble for Cameroon in order to gain Cameroon and to compensate the territory he lost. We we'll talk about um, the social reasons. Social reasons for the scam. Now, Britain and France, Britain, France, and Germany needed place for the settlement of their growing population. You know, at that time, the population in Europe was already too much because, first of all, we had um, the slaves that were being carried from Africa to Europe. Europe was resuscitated at that time. So for that reason, they needed to, ex to extract some of this population and bring them to Africa. So for that reason, they saw Cameroon as a position where they could put this year excess population. And um, next we are talking about European powers also wanted to spread their culture and civilization. You know, European believed at that time that their culture was one of the best. For that reason, they wanted to spread their culture all over the territory. For that reason, it's Cameroon for Cameroon. And uh, we're talking about missionaries. Missionaries um, pursued an extension in order to protect their activities and to check the spread of Islam. You know, at that time, Islam was fast growing in Europe. So for that reason, missionaries never wanted the spread of Islam in all parts of, Afri of Africa, especially in Cameroon. So for that reason, they fight for the restriction of Cameroon. And they also wanted to put an end to slavery and slave trade and inhuman practices. You know, at that time, Cameroon was practicing, it had so many um, inhuman killing of twins and all the like. 
but they wanted to stop that, they wanted to abolish slavery and slavery for that reason, this can come in. And last point, they wanted to control the sort of cheap food and vegetable. At that time, vegetable was very cheap in Africa, and food, especially in Cameroon, so for those reason, European power wanted to stop all the, to enjoy all this, so for that reason, it's come for Cameroon. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching Benjamin Academic Party on YouTube and Benjamin Academics, that's our Facebook page. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.